Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I went furniture shopping yesterday and didn't find anything at all that I liked. And I said, well, I'm going to stop at the thrift store. And there was nobody there but me, so I loved it. But anyway, um, yeah, uh, from time to time, you know, I realize that the most of the fabrics I have in my sales are really high priced and they are because they are excellent quality come from excellent manufacturers I mean I've got a buyer that goes to New York Fashion Week that will share some of the things that she buys with me at a discount rate and you know I buy it at her cost she'll send me pictures and say hey you want this I, oh yeah uh -huh, mm -hmm. but anyway um you know I have another lady who is another crafter that has some good buys on fabrics that I buy from her. Um, I get from Davis Bridles from a lady who sews for them. And she can buy fabric for herself as well. But, you know, not everybody can afford those. So what I do is whenever I can find yardage, either on clearance at Joann's or Walmart or wherever, I will get some of that. But if I can find some in the thrift store and it's good quality, I will buy that. And, you know, I sell what I buy at the thrift store and what it costs me. So, with that said, this is a J. Yang design screen print. And I think it is simply stunning. It's beautiful. It feels like a upholstery fabric. It's really thick. So, I picked up this piece. And then I found this one and fell in love. This is also like a um, upholstery fabric. It's thick and it was made exclusively for Joann's. But it is stunning. I just loved it. I don't have a lot of this one. I wish I had gotten more. Then I picked up. Pink florals always are in demand, so I got this, and it's backwards. I can't tell you who it's by. I'll tell you on the sale. Um, 45. I can't see it. I'm sorry. Anyway, is this backwards? Inside out? Yeah, it's inside out. <laughs> there, you go. there you go. But yeah, I like this a lot. I really like this print a lot. So part of this will be in the sale. Part of this I'm going to, I have a project in mind for. And then there were two pieces of this one. So I got both of them. Not my style, not my taste, but I know a lot of people like purple. So this will be in my d stash sale. And I got... Um... I just bought this to put in with a giveaway, and it is like a peach, a pink, and a red laces, so this will be in one of my giveaway boxes. Um, I got this to go into a giveaway. I have no clue what it is. It's a punch. It's a one and a half and one and one fourth circles. I haven't even tested it to see if it works. It's Creative Memories. I do I have a piece of paper laying by? Let's see if it even punches. Wouldn't that be something if it didn't punch? Well, okay, how does it work? Oh, I gotta go in from. Well, no, I'm not gonna be able to do this because I have to cut a paper. Yeah, anyway, I'll test it before I sell it. You know, I did get this for. Not for. to sell, but as a giveaway. I'll test it. Um, I mean, it goes down, so I'm hoping it cuts. But you have to have the paper the exact size to go in each end. And I didn't realize that. I thought you could just go in. Well, you can. It looks like you can. No, you can't. It's not cut all the way through. Okay, anyway, this will be in a giveaway. And I'm always on the lookout for Condensed Reader's Digest. 
because I use a lot of book pages and I also use these covers for journals. So they had these in there for 50 cent each and they were the only four they had. Otherwise you'd be seeing a whole lot more. So I got that and some of the book pages will go into my Etsy shop. Some of them will be like just for crafting for me. But the covers were all in good shape so that is what I was going after. And for 50 cents each, couldn't beat it. Then I got this. It's a little horsey. And his legs actually bend. Um, we had a horse, a little plastic horse that my husband had since he was a little boy. And Nicholas has played with it and played with it and played with it. Nothing ever happened. Well, here comes a Bruno along, which is what I call Anthony, because, boy, that is a tough boy. Solid, just rock solid. But um, he hits it real hard on the floor to make it move, you know, when he's walking it, and he broke a leg off, and I had to throw it in the trash, and even though Grandpa said he would glue it back, I figured he's just going to break it again. But, um, and I didn't want him to have a glued object either. But anyway... I got him this so he can feed it all he wants until he breaks the legs off. <laughs> I thought it was cute. He'll like it. Then I picked up this little bear stamp for a bear journal I'm going to be making. And I picked up these two stamps because I thought they were adorable. And I'll use these in some of my crafting as well. So, and these are like $1.50 each. So yeah, I got those. And that's all I got this time because, like I said, I was the only one in there, but it appears that with COVID going on, the thrift stores, at least in my town, are not really stocking new stuff. And it could be they don't have donations coming in now, but when they leave the door open to the supply room, <laughs> my suggestion is get that stuff out of the floor, folks, because there's a lot back there. Okay, um... That's it. That's this haul. Look for the fabrics. If you saw anything you liked, it will be in this huge de that's coming up because it's going to be cut today and bagged and tagged. All right. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.